Hello and uh, welcome to another chart tutorial video. Um, so my name is Fuad and today I will be showing you how you can create a donut chart in Tableau. So what exactly is a donut chart? A donut chart is just a variation of a pie chart um, and it's used uh, to show percents of total um, and how a total is split uh, by different uh, dimensions. So in this example I have here, um, we have the total sales uh, across all orders um, and they are split by their different categories. So we have furniture, office supply and technology. So we can see that 36% of all sales um, are made up from technology. Cool, so let's um, jump into actually building this donut chart. Um, so I'm just going to open up a new sheet um, and I am connected to Sample Superstore. Uh, you can find the link for that data source um, at the, on the description. Um, so the first thing that I want to do is change my marks type. So at the moment my marks type is just set to a text. I want to change that to a pie. Um, now I need to think about how I want my pie to be what I want my pie to be sized by, um, and I want it to be sized by uh, the sales. So each uh, proportion of my pie um, should show me uh, the amount of sales. Um, so I'm just going to switch this to entire view. So this is just giving us a blank circle, um, and that's fine. We just need to um, add the level of detail and how we want to split this um, pie chart. Um, so we wanted to do it by category, so I'm going to go ahead and drag category into color. Um, so now that has split my pie into three segments, um, each one representing a category. Um, so at the moment it's a pie chart, um, and what we want to do is go ahead and create our donut chart. Um, and in order to do that, we first need to create a kind of a fake axis. Um, so what I'm going to do here in rows is just double click and create a fake axis and just call this average one. Um, so that's going to put my pie chart into this axis, um, but I want to center it, so I'm going to edit this axis um, and change it to 0 to 2, so it's in the middle. Uh, so now we have our pie chart in the center, um, and now what we can do with this uh, field is we can duplicate it and create a dual axis um, in order to create our donut chart. So I'm going to hit control um, and left click on this field and drag it to the right um, and this will create me an exact copy of it um, and from here I can um, left click again and create a dual axis um, and make sure to also synchronize your axes. So effectively we have two pie charts on top of each other. Um, so with the second pie chart, um, I'm just going to remove what I don't need. So I don't need any of this. Um, I just want a blank pie chart. Uh, and the reason for that is um, I can size this uh, so that it has the effect uh, that we've created a donut chart. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and change the size to something a bit smaller. Um, so you can start to see we're getting a donut chart. You can play around with this um, as much as you like. Um, I'm just going to keep it roughly around this size. I think that's good. Um, and then what I'm going to do, rather than it ha being grey, I'm just going to change the background of this circle uh, to white. Cool. So here is essentially our donut chart, um, but what we can do is add some extra information uh, to make it a little bit more useful. Um, so what I like to do when I use donut chart is to show the entire value um, in this middle section. Um, it's really useful to add that additional context. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to add my total sales uh, into this uh, blank circle here. Um, so you can see we have our total sales and I'm just going to format this a bit, go into my labels. Um, edit the text um, and just call this total sales uh, and maybe make this a little bit bigger 
and bold as well. Okay, perfect. Um, so now we have our total sales, so how much um, each of these sections add up to. Uh, but we also want to know um, what percent these um, segments add up to as well. So I'm going to go back to my first pie chart, and here um, I'm going to add a percent of total label. Um, so in order to do percent of total, what I can do is drag um, sales into label first. Um, so this is just going to give us the actual number of sales, but if we want this as a percent of total, uh, we could create a table calculation. Um, so if you left click on these fields, you can add a table calculation and change this to a percent of total. Okay, perfect. And then I'm just going to format this um, and get rid of these decimal places. Um, so now we have um, not only the total sales that each of these categories add up to, but also how much um, these sales are split by in terms of uh, percent of total. So finally, what I might do is to make this a little bit more informative. If you want to, you can add in the sales as well, um, just below it, uh, maybe put this in brackets. Um, and maybe increase the size of this one a little bit. So we have not only the percentage uh, breakdown, but also the actual raw value. Um, and finally, if you really want to get fancy, you can color your values um, the same as your categories are colored. Uh, so if you go into fonts, um, there is an option here to match your mark color. And this will give you a nice uh, donut chart that not only has the raw values, but also the percent of totals. Um, and after that, you can just clean up the formatting a little bit. So get rid of these headers um, and also get rid of the grid lines. Okay, so there you have it, um, a donut chart uh, used for percent of totals. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, feel free to subscribe to our channel where you can find um, lots of great content. Uh, also, I would recommend watching my colleagues how to build a waterfall chart um, by Ruth. I would definitely recommend checking that out as well.